What's up YouTube? This is Detroit Borg with a look at the iPad 2 dock. This is $29 in the Apple Store and it was not available at the launch of iPad 2. I had to order it the day of and it took about a month to get to me. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now taking a quick look at the box, you can see that there is the iPad 2 dock in profile on the front and you can see that it is form fitting to the iPad 2. On the side we have the Apple logo, on the other side we have the Apple logo, on the back we have the dock with the iPad 2 inserted, on the bottom we have the model number information designed in it by Apple in California, made in China, and on the top we have the hang tag and we're going to rip that off to get inside. We have a little tab here to pull the dock out. Looks like we have some literature here, no Apple stickers, No, usually no Apple stickers with accessories. So some instructions here, also have the limited warranty. Now let's just peel the wrapper off. Now taking a very close look at the dock, you can see the 30 pin connector, this is how the iPad 2 connects to the dock. Uh, this connector basically routes through the back connector, so when you connect your USB cable, the USB cable that came with your iPad, uh, you can charge it or you can sync it to your computer and you have a line out so this allows you to output audio to powered speakers. In profile you can see the backrest for the iPad 2 as well as a form fitting cutout for the edge of the iPad 2. And just like all previous Apple docks we have this gray rubber sole uh, so it's non-skid so if you place this on the table it prevents it from moving around. The dock is also weighted so this prevents the iPad 2 from easily being knocked over. Now let's dock the iPad 2 and see how well it works. There you go, that's certainly a lot easier than using the original iPad dock. Now looking at the side, you can see the dock fits the iPad 2 perfectly again. You can't use cases with this dock, uh, so if you're going to use a case, I recommend uh, something that comes off easily. So here we have the smart cover on, and let's try and dock it. As you can see, the cover is in the way. And if we look at the side again, you see there's not enough room for that cover to fit on. With the iPad 2 docked, you can see it holds it at this nice angle, which is ideal for viewing it on a desktop or next to your computer. You can also see it's pretty stable, so if you knock on it, uh, you have to be pretty vigorous to knock it over. And it's same on both sides, it's pretty stable. Now the dock is also designed to leave the speaker free so it won't block your speaker. So it sounds pretty good, especially because the speaker fires toward the back. So if you have this on a desktop, it will actually reflect off the desktop and it sounds pretty good. Now here I have my USB cable connected to my iMac, so let's go ahead and connect that. We also have an audio cable to my speaker system. Now let's go ahead and dock the iPad. So now we have syncing and charging. Now with our speakers connected, let's launch the iPod app and listen. So I have MacBreak Weekly loaded. It's a podcast. We click play. Three or four different models and I, the money was all set. It was ready to go. You see I have my audio going through my speakers and you do lose local volume control when you're connecting your audio through your dock. So in fact, if you look up here where you normally have your volume slider, instead you see dock connector. So again, this just means that you have to control your audio through your connected speaker system. Now all of the Apple accessory adapters also work with the dock. So we have the VG adapter, the digital AV adapter, and the camera connection kit. Just connect it to the 30 pin connector on the back of the dock and you're good to go. Now just a quick note about the keyboard dock. Apple has decided not to produce a iPad 2 keyboard dock, uh, but what they are promoting is the use of a Bluetooth keyboard along with a dock. Uh, so essentially you can pr replicate the functionality of this dock just by using a Bluetooth keyboard dock and the standard standalone dock. Uh, I think that's another reason they decided to make the uh, dock so much bigger is because it's a lot more stable when you're tapping on it. Uh, especially in this vertical position. The original iPad dock was a little unstable for that purpose. And just a quick note, because I know you guys will ask, the iPad 2 will work with the keyboard dock. In fact, I have a video on that, and I will post it in the description below so you guys can take a look. Now, if we compare the original dock to the iPad 2 dock, you can see it has grown in size considerably. It looks like it's almost doubled. It's also almost doubled in weight, so this is quite a bit heavier. And I think all of that is to provide a better counterbalance to the weight of the iPad 2. Even though the iPad 2 is lighter than the original iPad, uh, it looks like uh, they needed to increase its stability. And I I think that's a good idea because this was a little tipsy. You can also see that the iPad 2 dock is quite a bit thicker than the original. Again, I think that's because they've added weight inside this 
dock. You can also see they've redesigned the way the iPads dock. Uh, instead of having this open face design with this bumper uh, around the edge of the dock connector, they've added this lip. Uh, this should make it a lot easier for the iPad 2 to line up with this dock. The original iPad had a hard time finding its position here. I never really liked this dock because of that. I uh, often miss the pin and the pin will scratch your iPad if you slide it next to it. You know, uh, So every time I try to connect my iPad I had to be very careful otherwise if I miss I slide right past it and scratch the surface and I did that a few times. This looks a lot better. You have this nice uh, curved edge to line up your iPad with and it's taller than the original iPad 2 dock original iPad dock so you can see there's a little more room to maneuver and you have this front lip so when the iPad 2 meets it it won't slide off so I really like that and you can also see that the dock connector is actually quite a bit shorter than the original now besides the form factor everything else is quite similar so again you have the same white polycarbonate you have the rubber foot and you have the dock in line out so these again connect to your computer to a power outlet to your VGA adapter to your uh, digital AV adapter etc. The question I know I'm going to get a lot about the iPad 2 dock is whether it fits the other Apple devices and of course here I have all of them and I've tested them all out and uh, there's no reason it can't work with these devices but it simply doesn't fit. Again, all the dock is doing is routing the USB cable into a convenient stand for the iPad. Uh, there's no trick there. You don't need it uh, for any purpose besides keeping your desk neat. Uh, so if it fits, it will work. And unfortunately, the only devices it will fit uh, is the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPod Touch 2nd and 3rd generation. iPhone 4, iPhone 3G, 3GS, the original iPhone, the original iPod Touch, all of the nanos and certainly the classics are too big to fit onto the very narrow edge of the dock. So let me just show you guys uh, how that works. First up, let me just show you how the iPhone 4 fits. So again, if you slide it on, again, there is not enough room. It's too square at the edge. Now here's the sixth generation nano. Again, not enough room. Now here's the second and third generation iPod touch. And if you slide that on, it does work just fine. It doesn't fit quite snugly, but it works. And of course the iPod Touch 4th generation is even thinner and that works as well. And as you can see the original iPad is just too thick for this dock. The edge is too square. Overall I'm very happy with this dock. I think it's designed much better than the original. It's much more stable. It's a lot easier to dock the iPad without scratching it or missing. And I think because it's only $29 it's a good value. does a nice job tidying up your cables on your desk. And certainly much easier than fumbling with cables to dock your iPad. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at the iPad 2 dock. Thanks for watching.